CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.10, Identify Common Features and Tools of the Mac OS, Desktop OS. Mac OS Apple ID. When navigating the Apple ecosystems, one of the first things you'll encounter is the Apple ID. This is a central, critical element in the Apple universe. Think of your Apple ID as a passport that grants you access to almost every Apple service and feature, much like how a Microsoft account operates within Windows. But what exactly is an Apple ID, and why is it so crucial? At its core, an Apple ID is an account used to authenticate your identity across all Apple services. It's the key that unlocks a host of features and services, from the Apple App Store and iCloud, to iMessage and FaceTime. When you create an Apple ID, you provide an email address, set a password, and enter some security information. This account then becomes your digital identity within Apple's ecosystem, linking your devices, apps, and data together seamlessly. Now, this may be all well and good, but let's talk about what happens when things go wrong, like when a device gets locked after too many failed login attempts. With an Apple device, if it's tied to an Apple ID, the only way to restore access is by using the primary Apple ID and password. This recovery process may seem simple, but let me throw a monkey wrench into the mix. Imagine a company has a batch of new Apple devices that it plans to distribute to its employees. To keep things simple, employees are encouraged to use their personal Apple IDs on these devices. While this approach may seem convenient at first, it can lead to significant challenges down the road, particularly with Apple's lock feature. Apple's lock feature is designed to protect your device by linking it to your Apple ID. If your Apple device is ever lost or stolen, this lock feature makes it nearly impossible for anyone else to use or sell the device. However, in a corporate environment, this setup can backfire. If an employee leaves the company and their personal Apple ID remains tied to the device, the company could find itself locked out of its own hardware. Without the employee's primary Apple ID and password, the device can't be unlocked or reset, rendering it essentially useless. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.